Hello and welcome to this AIM executive interview. I'm here today with the newly appointed vice chair of AIM, Patty Blessing. Patty is the director of sales for North America with Mojex and has broad experience in all aspects of technical solution sales, sales management, and event and trade show management. Patty also has direct experience with retail, manufacturing, and healthcare delivering automation solutions, including RFID, sensor technologies, temperature management, and data analytics. Welcome to the podcast, Patty. Thanks, Michael. Great to be here. So to start, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Well, you did a great job of introducing me. <laughs> uh, so I have worked for uh, systems and solution providers throughout my career. Some of those companies include NCR, Bass, Retalix, Alien Technology, Kavu Group, and now Mojix. I started out in sales, but I've held a lot of roles in sales and marketing leadership, as well as managing product management and product development teams. I've had the opportunity to work with many different industries, as you mentioned. Uh, you know, some of the, the most fun industries I worked with include automotive, chemical, uh, grocery, hospitality, manufacturing, retail, healthcare, life sciences, and government. Great, so how did you get started in the AIDC industry specifically? To be very honest with you, as I think back, I started in the AIDC industry without really knowing it. I, I joined NCR, as I mentioned, as one of my first roles, uh, where I partnered with retailers to implement POS and barcode scanners, many of whom had never used barcode at the checkout for, uh, before. Um, but I was introducing them to the concept of using barcode for uh, checkout and, and inventory. As you might know, I live in Dayton, Ohio, and we're proud of the work that NCR and the UPC Council did, uh, now GS1, uh, to commercialize the universal product code. And I still remember the stories of the first pack of gum that was scanned at Marsh Supermarkets in Troy, just up the road from where I live. Great. So what has interested you in this industry that has kept you involved in this community? Well, whether we're talking about UPC, RFID, barcode, QR code, data matrix, or any of the other technologies that fall under AIDC, the impact to the user is what most excites me. When you can take a simple code and automatically capture data, the results can be profound. Whether we look at retail, where businesses rely on barcodes to expedite checkout, uh, improving customer service, and RFID to manage inventory, or industry where assets are managed and production lines leverage data collection for quality and work in process, or even healthcare where the patient's care and safety can be validated and verified through scanning of wristbands, we only just begin to see the impact of AIDC. And while the technology for capturing massive amounts of data is exciting, I'm also really passionate about using that data to improve business outcomes. And how did you initially get involved with AIM? I tried to think through this, Michael, and, and I know that the companies I've worked for uh, have traditionally been a member of AIM. Um, and, and I know that uh, I have been involved for about 10 years. Um, I've had the chance to start to participate as a representative in various AIM North America work groups. And four years ago, I joined the AIM board, most recently having chaired work groups, including the UDI work group and the membership committee. Uh, it was a great opportunity for me to expand uh, my participation in industries to get to know more people and to participate in some of the standards initiatives that AIM uh, sponsors. And why did you find AIM's work important? AIM is very important to our membership and to the broader user community. As an educator, advocate, and alliance, AIM plays a very important role in assuring standards around AIDC both from a tactical as well as a strategic perspective. Our five-year plan, reviewed and updated in 2022, outlines the goals of the organization and how we will work to advance AIDC in the future. Often overlooked are some of the really great morsels at, at AIM that I really love, and including um, the fact that we are the International Registration Authority for various international standards and industry entities. Our partnership with ISO as the registration authority assures that standards are recognized and utilized. 
We're also active in standards development and work closely with regulatory agencies as well as industry agencies to seek harmonization of standards around the globe. I think all of these things are really critical to our industry and, and AIM does a great job of supporting this initiative. So what has been your favorite part in being involved with AIM? That's really easy, it's the people. I've met amazing people and network uh, and, and created a network of alliances uh, that I've been able to develop over the past 10 years. The membership of AIM is really a great community of professionals that value the contributions of the organization. I've met industry leaders, even pioneers in the AIDC industry from around the world that are committed to the standards, education, and advocacy that AIM delivers. The global chapters, industry standards groups, and industry work groups are made up of volunteers that give their time and energy to produce valuable resources and our emeritus members continue to amaze me with their technical and industry knowledge. Each year, AIM also accepts nominations and awards recognition to those that have greatly impacted the AIDC industry. And I have loved the opportunity to meet many of the award winners over the years. And I can honestly say that every time I meet one of them, I learn something new. And you are now the vice chair of AIM for 2023. Congratulations. Um, why is this a role you decided to take on? First of all, thank you. And it's certainly an honor to take on this role. Um, I'm not sure I took it on or if I was volunteered, but, <laughs> but I do believe in AIM and the value of AIM, not only to the individual member companies, but also to the industry. During my role as the AIM North America UDI Workgroup Chair, we reached beyond our traditional membership to include stakeholders from the entire industry. And one of those stakeholders actually represented the voice of the patient who reminded us of the value of traceability through identification of an individual asset to the patient receiving that device. Seeing that kind of impact from our organization is very rewarding and makes me very excited to represent AIM in the future. And what do you see as the future of the AIDC industry? Well, there's no doubt that AIDC is here to stay and the demand for data capture is more relevant today than it has ever been. Businesses look to data to drive their decisions and to provide agility in their responses to external factors, such as the ones we saw during the pandemic and are now seeing with labor shortages. As vice chair, I'll work closely with our current chair, Chuck Evan Howe, and the CEO at AIM, Mary Lou Bosco, and our board members to assure that our strategic objectives continue to reflect our membership and that the membership of AIM continues to grow. AIDC is dynamic and will continue to change and AIM needs to be there along with that growth. And what message do you have for members and non-members alike on the importance of being a part of this community? Well, first and foremost, I wanna thank all of our current and past members. Your contributions have been innumerable. And as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of AIM this year, we're celebrating you. Later this year, there will be events in North America, Europe, and Asia. Mark your calendars and join the meetings to network, collaborate, and celebrate. For those of you considering membership in AIM, I encourage you to schedule time with one of our members to learn more about the value of AIM and how you can gain the most from joining. We will be at many trade shows and events this year, and I hope to get the opportunity to welcome you to AIM. Well, thank you for your time, Patty, and uh, welcome again as vice chair. We're looking forward to it. Thank you.